Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we will be discussing about one of the another part of creational design pattern, which is factory design pattern. So let's discuss about the introduction of factory design pattern and then we will switch to implementation of it. So according to the gang of war, they says, just define an interface or abstract class for the creation of object, but let the subclass decide which class needs to instantiate. In other word, in factory design pattern, we create object without exposing the creational logic to the client and we generally call it as virtual instantiation. Now let's switch to the implementation of factory design pattern. For that, we'll be creating one simple project and using that project, we'll be sending the notification to the user using different medium. And those medium of notification can be WhatsApp notification, SMS notification, Facebook or email notification, and that can be as a MMS notification, right? So as you can see, I have already created uh, these notification classes, which is uh, extending the notification abstract class. So in, in this class, we have one implemented method, which is notify user, which will be uh, printing the information of uh, the medium which will be using to send the SMS to the user or uh, notification to the user, right? Now, uh, we have one notification client, right? So let's see inside uh, this client without using factory method, how we are going to create object and how we are going to notify the user, right? Now, let's send the notification to the user using SMS notification medium. So for that, let's create main method. So inside this main method, we're gonna instantiate SMS notification class. So notification SMS notification is equal to new SMS notification, right? So using this SMS notification, we're gonna notify the user. Now let's run this. And you can, you can see now, uh, sending SMS notification to user. So this SMS notification is medium, uh, which we are using to notify the user, right? Now, right now we are creating object manually, right? So let's say in future, if you want to change the medium of notification, we, instead of using SMS, we want to uh, use uh, email notification, right? So for that also, we have to create an object manually. Email dot notify user, right? Now let's run this. Now you can see we are sending a notification using SMS notification and using email notification, right? So uh, this is the manual work, right? Which we are doing manually. Now, but using builder pattern, we just need to inject the type of medium which we need to send a notification to user. And the creation of object is taking care of uh, factory method. Internally, it will um, create object for us based on the uh, notification medium and it will send notification to the uh, desired user. So we have done sending notification to the user without using any factory design pattern. Now we will be sending notification to the user by implementing factory design pattern. For that, I have already created one class called notification factory, which has notify method of static type and uh, which is expecting notification medium as an input parameter. So this notification medium is an enum, which has uh, all the type of notification medium. Uh, SMS, email, WhatsApp, Facebook and MMS, right? So while calling this notify method, we can pass any of the one uh, notification medium, right? And based on the notification medium, um, it will create the object for us, right? So you can see the return type of this notify method is notification. So it is a parent class of these all the classes because these all classes are in, uh, extending the notification uh, abstract class. So if accidentally we are passing some wrong input, which is not matching with these cases. So in that case, it will execute this default 
case and it will throw exception with message notification error please select another type of notification right else it will be returning the uh, object created based on the notification medium so from client uh, notification client we will not be creating these object manually we'll be deleting this and i'll be creating one static method static block which has this option select your uh, medium of notification first is sms notification email notification whatsapp notification facebook notification and mms notification so uh, while providing the input you just need to select your um, type of notification which medium you want so we will be providing dynamic input so let's create object of scanner class system dot in <coughs> now uh, we will be using scanner dot get next sorry next int because we are expecting uh, input as integer type so it is int and input right input option all right now we will be calling this uh, notify method of notify method of uh, notification factory right so let's call let's use uh, notification factory which has notify method which is expecting uh, notification medium so notification medium dot email right and then it will return you the object of email notification and we'll be calling notify user right but you can see right now there is no any mechanism uh, to pass a dynamic value but let's run this first see so it is asking for your choice i am pressing one it is <coughs> it is sending email notification even i have selected uh, sms notification so it is sending email means the one which we have created here right we are passing email here so instead of do doing this what we can do this notification medium has one method called values right this is type of array if you hover on this see it is returning values it's a type of array now what we we gonna do here we gonna do input option minus one it start from one right so uh, let's say we are selecting for option one so option one is at zeroth index right so we are subtracting one from the input value input value is one so uh, this will be i'll explain you this also now as someone is uh, uh, selecting option one right so input option is one so as per this chart right this option input one is sms notification but if we are uh, we will not be passing minus one so what it will do it will fetch the values from uh, array right at one position so one position it will be zero position it will be sms one position it will be email so it will uh, always call email let's check this also let's run now now let's input your option is one see it's calling email right so instead of passing this we can do input option minus one now we can run this so input option is one now what it is doing it is subtracting one minus one so it will be zero so on zero index we have sms notification right see sending sms notification to user even we have entered one but internally it is subtracting the input value with minus one that's why it came to index zero and index zero we have value sms notification and one more thing instead of creating one new variable of integer type we can pass this value here itself 
because we are not using this variable other than that right now uh, let's run this again now I'm passing uh, email notification email notification is 2 then you can see we are getting email notification right let's pass another as a uh, fourth position so fourth minus three is fourth minus one is three so zero one two and three so which is uh, Facebook see so this implementation is working fine so that's all about from this video thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for another videos thank you